Hey guys. Just sitting here and gonna enjoy a cup of coffee while I bring this forth. We haven't fallen off a cliff or in a free fall, guys, in this country. If we don't wrestle this demonic force to the ground that's running rampant through this land called America, now the world too, it's gonna destroy us. We have to choose. It's not about voting, you guys, I'm not saying don't vote. I want you to vote. Vote for whom you want to. You should, but it's gonna be a sham. If we don't do something with this mandatory lockdown that they're, that they're, they're hammering on us with the news media, we're not gonna have an election. Be a sham. It'll be some electronic ballot box. You can do it on YouTube. Man, be no worse than how the dictators do it in other countries. You know it's a scam and a sham. Shameful. That's where we're headed, guys. You don't have to worry about your mail and votes and all that other stuff. And if you're going to vote in the ele an election, there ain't going to be one. I'm telling you right now, there's not going to be one. That's where it's headed. If we don't do something about it today, next three weeks, because at 8 11, it's, you think that, that all hell's broke loose now? Like I said, we're in a free fall. Don't have a parachute. Better get a hold of Jesus. I'm not making this up. I get nothing out of this, guys. There's nobody out there that's supporting me but God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. None of you all are. I don't need anything from you. I'm not saying that to be say I'm an island. I'm saying I need Jesus just like you do. We all do. And he's going to do things that are miraculous from upon high. If we humble ourselves, repent, change, turn from our wicked ways, and listen to what the Spirit's saying to the church. Guys, how many of y'all have heard this? Or to say this to your kids? Look both ways before you cross the street. Raise your hand. Well, how, what do we do with that as a parent? We repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until our kids get it. And they look both ways. Well, how do we learn? Going to school, repetitive. How do kids learn to speak? watches they repeat it guys that's what the media is doing with this it has nothing I'm not I'm not don't correlate this and mix it up with something that it's not I'm not saying that, that the virus isn't serious I'm not saying it's not killing people I'm not saying it's not sad I'll tell you where my heart is at with a little bit with this you don't know you don't know me God does I'm not doing it to stir up these people's hurt because there's 100, I don't believe the numbers, but let's say 140,000, I'll say they're right, that have died from this. There was a young couple, he was a firefighter, it was a while back, a few months ago, maybe six, I don't know, it was a while back. They lost their two-year-old baby. I cried, guys, I wept, really wept and prayed for those people. I know much it's got to hurt, and it hadn't stopped, and it won't ever stop. Unfortunately, I know a preacher, and he's still weeping and crying eight years after he had a car wreck that killed his son and his mother-in-law, and I forget who else in the car, more than one person. And he was still so tore up and weeping. It had been like eight, ten years. It had been a long time. He said, Steve, a man never ought to son. Guys, I get it. There's some real hurt. Sometimes it turns into anger. If you're really sick, if you've had a loved one that really died from this, I'm not mocking and throwing those people's lives under the bus. The media is, 
and the politicians are because they just don't care. I'm going to tell it like it is, guys. That's exactly where they're at. All they want to do with it is their anger and wrath and their hatred towards one man probably or towards even the Christians as an issue. Of, of the biggest one is abortion probably, but the gay rights is the next one and all the, just, the sin. They just want to do whatever they want to do. And so they're going to take it out on whomever they take it out of and they're going to grab whatever they can grab and line and twist it up and turn it around into something that's not and sit and green at us and they, we say we don't we don't worry we're not worried about people okay great coronavirus okay great it's i'm not saying that the virus is a sham i'm saying the people that are portraying it and magnifying this, it are sham, are scamming us lying to us what are we going to do lock down the whole country over cancer, tuberculosis, sepsis, which is very personal because my mom died from it and it's a disease and that this hospital created pretty much is from unsanitary conditions, guys. I'm not a doctor, but what I know of it. It's, but back, whether it's bacterial or viral or whatever, there's so many diseases, guys. And they rank a lot higher on the deaths, on the death toll. What are we going to do? Do those people's lives not matter? Or is it just the coronavirus people? Come on, guys. That's why I said we're in a free fall. They just pick something that they can latch on to, that they think can win the election or whatever. They just they want Trump out. They want Christians out. Literally. Especially the true Christians that are Christ-like. Because we're calling the carpet. You don't think so? Go to California or even New York, probably now, and try to preach the gospel. Carry a Bible. You can't even sing in a church. You can't even have church. Same in Oregon, guys. There's a guy, Kent Peters. Look at his. The Bible says, try the Spirit to see if it's the Spirit of the Lord. I don't have to, but I mean, because I did. But just look at the man. Let's know what he's saying. Yeah, we're all we all have maybe even have some a few issues, but he's true. And he's truly a child of the king. It's about his father's business. He's getting sued because his church is having church outside of an abortion clinic and singing. Tell him they can't sing; it's too loud. NASCAR, even NASCAR is loud, guys. Football games are loud. Rock concerts are loud. Churches are even loud. They've, they've copied the world in that area. Sorry to say. It's like a circus act, guys. Honestly, and a lot of them. Who's who in the church do? The message is not just for the world because the Bible says it, that it starts at the house house of God starts in our house. We gotta clean up our act, guys. No wonder people don't want to come to the house of God, to the church. When they see what we do, what a lot of them do, lights out. It's not the light. Guys, if we don't change this equation, look at my videos. I had a dream a year ago. I've had five cents. America, 100 foot flames from 8-11 to 9-11. And then a couple, last couple months, a couple months ago, I had the one about Amos 8. I'm in a dream, guys. I'm totally asleep. And the Lord spoke to me and said, go look up Amos 8-11. And I wake up and I didn't correlate it for even a couple days. And I have that I had the dream and I knew in the scriptures and everything. That's when it all starts. It's starting 8-11-2020 to 9-11-2020. And I... In this fire, look at them, guys. They're out there. Look at the one about Jesus at the center. It's from 2016. If we don't get him back in the center of our lives, our churches, our government, our personal lives, it's not just all hell's gonna break loose. The bottom's gonna fall out. We're, we're, right now, we're in a free fall. There is no bottom on this one yet except for the blood of the lamb because he said they overcome by the words of their testimony the blood of the lamb so it's always undo something 
God's got a plan, guys. But we're not listening. That's the issue. We're not taking it to him. We're not weeping between the porch and the altar. We're complaining, crying, social media, YouTube. I mean, I hate this stuff, guys. Honestly, I really hate this stuff. The only reason why I'm doing it is because in 2015, the Lord told me to do it. One, I don't know how to do this. That's why you got these lame pictures of just me and my my ugly mug with Dollar Tree reading glasses on and a bright yellow shirt with the backdrop of my exercise. Man, I don't have all this flash bangy stuff. I don't even know how to do that. Even if I did have the financial resources to do it, I don't know that I would. But he's been true to his word. I've got the financial resources to do it with the thing that he's doing, but it's like... Like I told my mechanic when I took my car in, I'm like, George, everybody wants the same thousand bucks. <laughs> so what do I do, God? Okay, you know, got some, but, you know, where does it go? Where is it going to be most effective? I have to go to him with it. Not broke, but, you know, it's like, there's only so much of me, so much I can do. And I'm, and I'm doing it. And a lot of them just doing it by faith. He's doing it. And that's what I'm saying, guys. We've got to get a hold of the living God. Of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. It's not about a vote anymore. Guys, you're not going to have one. I'm, I'm telling you, because that's who I am. I'm a vessel. I'm a watchman. Okay, guys? I'll tell you this. Look at the one from 2016, okay? Maybe they'll shed some light on it. Maybe you'll start believing what I'm saying. This is one that you can't dispute. Neither can you in 2016, but about a year ago, I had a dream. And in this dream, the Lord said, Colossians 3.16 was just as important. It's on YouTube, guys. Look at the date and everything. And I'll send you a copy of all the scriptures. He said Colossians 3.16 was just as important as John 3.16. Oh, come on. Man, God, I'm running out of my Bible. I don't even know what Colossians 3.16 said. It's about how we treat each other. And right now, everybody treats each other with disdain. You're on this camp, you're on that camp. You're a Democrat, you're a Republican. If you're a Democrat, you're the devil. If you're a Republican, you're godly. What? Maybe there's a little bit of tr truth to that, but not really, guys, honestly. I know that's not going to go over sit real well with most of you, most of you that are that are Christians. I know it's not. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to poke, poke the bear and stir the pot too much. It's time that Jesus was the center and the focus. And quit glorifying man. I get it. You know, a lot of Mark in that in that camp ideologically are pro abortion pro abortion. So yes, it is demonic. It's killing innocent lives, taking innocent lives. I get that. But we can't just arbitrarily slap a label on it because you know what? There's one that I put out there. I haven't put out a lot of videos about I haven't even got to them all yet because there's way too many of them. It was called the idol of convenience. We slap a label on it, throw up a YouTube video, put a little bit of Facebook on it, and run. And go out and party and do our stuff and do or whatever. Go get our nails done or if you're a woman or whatever. If you're, you go to the gym or whatever. No accountability, no follow through up with it. That's why it's, yeah, I'm going to put a plug in for the guy. If you're here in Dallas, I got zero response so far, but I'm not going to stop. I'll spend a couple hours with Aaron Budrick in the streets in Dallas. I won't have to worry about that message. It's 5 a.m. and time to weep and pray between the porch and the altar. You'll be crying before the day's out. It won't last the day, honestly. Most of us wouldn't make it as homeless, and most of us wouldn't make it as a cop. 
He threw him under the bus. That's where all this is going, guys. Why do they want to wipe out the cops? Get the police out of the way. So when all hell breaks loose and chaos, and they can just they, they can just hand over this country to the United United Nations. I'm serious, guys. I'm not making this up. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is not I did ate too many paint chips as a child while I could have had a V8. This is the real deal, guys. We're free falling, and unless we get Jesus, get a hold of the real deal. That's my whole message, my whole direction. Right now, I'm, I'm, well, yeah, maybe. We disagree on most of the stuff that I preach out there that somehow we're on Facebook together, and we disagree on 90% of the stuff. Literally, honestly. And I prayed about it, and I was like, well, God didn't give me any clearance to say anything. I said some stuff, and then I realized, well, maybe I might be, you know, be in the flesh a little bit. I gotta just, what do I do, God? I don't wanna befriend, none befriend him or whatever. I don't want to do that. I want to cut people's comments off. I want to do that. I just stopped. I want to say, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I watched a little bit of change. Some of the stuff he says are right and good. Just because I don't agree with it. Maybe I got to die out a little bit. Cause I'm still on the wheel on some of this too. I'm not saying that to say that this is a wishy-washy message or that the, because tolerance is a spirit of deception too. It's not about tolerance. It's about what does he want? Not what does Steve want? He wants to set his people free. And we're not free. And we're not going to be allowed to get stuck in this political swirl. Ugly, sinful, people are dying in the streets. And I'm going to end with this, okay? Because it's a big thing right now amongst all of them to fund the police. Okay, wipe them out, take them out, okay? They're $40,000, $60,000 civil servants or whatever. I don't know what they make. I'm guessing somewhere around in there. It doesn't matter, you can fact check, correct it, whatever, I don't care. I know I'm pretty close. If all of a sudden one of them was a millionaire, with brand new cars and a nice house and stuff, and the news would be camped out in their front yard, CNN would be blowing them up and they'd be asking for an investigation from somebody. So why are some of these politicians doing it? You know who I'm talking about, guys. That's partly why, I'll just be blunt, that's partly why they don't want people like Trump in office. I don't care if you like him or don't like him. He's doing some things, right? And I get it, some things he's not. I get that too. They're kind of running for the hills on this one, guys. They don't want their little playhouses torn down. Their powerhouses and their little stashes of money. How do they get so much money being a civil servant? Okay, I get it. You know, you, I should, you should, I don't know. That's kind of a gray area a little bit, maybe, about having a business and being a civil servant. I don't know. But, there, but does that not... Is there not something sitting wrong there with you? you can't pick any of y'all? Guys, if we don't get this right, get a hold of Jesus and quit looking for man and the government to bail us out and the election to solve our problem. It's, it's not an election problem. It's a sin problem. Ask David Sellers front of Walmart, I think it's Pensacola, Florida. Sorry, David, if I'm wrong on that. Go down and see him. I'm pretty sure you'll be weeping and crying and praying between the porch and the altar before he, before he's done with before he's done with the message. Not a pushover, guys. He's the real deal. So are a lot of other preachers. 
I don't listen to him as much as I probably should, but for some reason, Franklin Jen Jensen keeps getting highlighted off and on, and others. Small and big, I'm not sensationalizing him. Not a very big church, but an awesome pastor, Carl Tyner. And many others. Clancy Wilkerson is out there. And, and, and not just because they're our friends. We just learned to be good their friends over the years. But the Bible says, you know, he's got some people in his church that are on fire, inspired up, inspired. Oh, there's good people out there, guys, that are, that are but we're like, I don't know what it is. It, not a comic or anything. Fairy tale, I guess, or whatever. But that, what's that headless horseman dude that's on the horse with no head? I forget his name. You know, I'm talking about. That's what the church is, is acting like. The world definitely. They're acting like on uh, Discovery Channel. Watch the, it's a wildebeest, I think. Run this way. Because there's a wolf over there, a lion. Then all of a sudden they see something else. Boom, they run that way. Boom, boom, boom. Like foosball. Foosball on a foosball table. Ping pong. Pounced all around. Whatever the media portrays is the, 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 the bread of life for that day. Of the truth and who's your source. And we're, they're portraying themselves as God, guys. And accusing us as Christians of doing that. And, and some of the big newscasters, I'm not going to name their, name their names. Two of them are brothers running this country into the ground. But one of them is, they had the, they had the guts to say, do you care that people are dying? Practice what you preach. Do you care that people are dying? No, you don't. You just want Trump out of the office. You want a Democrat or whatever, or whatever you want and it's not good i'm gonna end with this guys when i was an executive or in management or any type of leadership roles whether it was in the church or in the business especially in the business i learned to not like or trust suck-ups because they had an ulterior motive was self-gratifying, self-satisfying, and it wasn't good for anybody around them, including themselves. They just didn't see it. I would stand off. And that's what they're doing. And they're portraying it as they're the heroes. Man, has anybody really, can anybody, has anybody even tried to dispel this falsy stuff that's floating around? I don't know if there's truth to it or not, but if there is, any truth to some of it, it's not good. The Wuhan lab and all of that stuff, it's not good. If there's any truth to it, but if there's not, it'd be good to know that there's not. Don't you think? But instead, we put him on a pedestal as an expert. Well, I don't know. Is he or is he not? I'm going to end with this, okay, guys? Walmart. Man, they're all over the blast and they're just doing it for the money because they don't want to get the government to cut off. They just, they don't want to get, they, they want to keep their money rolling in. But you got to wear a mask now. Mandatory. Well, I read all the signs. It's been mandatory since I still shop. I've been in three places a day and didn't wear a mask. But okay, so you wear one. Okay, you got a mask on. Those cheap, cheesy, man, they're not even, not even a mask, guys. You could sneeze and it's going to come through it. And mo most people, a lot of people don't even wear them. They got them down around their, their mouth only or on their chin. Or, you know, not coming their nose in their mouth. But okay, so you got a mask. Okay, great, awesome. You're doing something to stop this stupid coronavirus. Yay. Go park your butt. In front of the avocados, tomatoes, the grapes, anything in the fruit 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 section, and stand there five minutes, ten at the most. Bigger stores be a hundred people. Smaller stores it might be five or ten. Somebody will come up. 
every hand and finger that they got touching all the avocados on the whole table to pick two or three. I do it because they're hard to find a good ripe avocado. They're too ripe or not ripe enough. You can't see it. You can't tell by seeing them. Tomatoes, all the fruits, all the bananas. Well, where, is their, where have their hands been, guys? Did they just come from the bathroom? You don't know? Oh, but they got a mask on. Come on, guys. That's what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. I'm not going to mince words. It's not a mealy mouth message. You want a you want a coronavirus tip? Some gear to wear? Get a pair of rubber boots. Cause the bowl's getting pretty deep and it's pretty stinky. You'll be safe though. You probably won't get any on you. At least on your feet. Come on, guys. If we do not get Jesus first, get a hold of God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost. That's why I sit at 5 a.m. prayer. It was, he was very evident about it at 5 a.m. because there's not a lot of distractions. There's nobody up unless you want to be. Your wife, your husband, your children aren't up. If you've got children. You don't have to pick up your cell phone. If you choose not to, you don't have to turn on your YouTube. If you choose not to, you don't have to turn on CNN and listen to the trash and garbage that's being portrayed out there. Nothing but you and God. And I'm not talking about taking a minute or two or just a few seconds of silence. That ain't going to cut it, guys. That ain't going to fly. Not this time around. I told some Christians this and they got mad. More than one I told. Some of them. One virus took out the church. Blah, 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 blah. No, it didn't. Oh. Look around, guys. Yes, it did. 90% of them. 95%. Big person, most of them. And I was at a Pentecostal church. And the police were sitting in the parking lot. I just was visiting some fr with some friends. Why well, the police in the parking lot? Sitting in their car. There was a cop sitting in their car. He wouldn't look, wouldn't, you know, just finding a place to park. And he just kind of found a, you know, they do that all the time. They've got reports to do and stuff like that. That's not, that's not, what I'm saying, he was sitting there watching, looking for violators of the, the face mask rule. He was on duty. I'm blaming the cop. I'm, but I'm blaming the hierarchy. Just like I'm, just like a lot of my messages are. You know, this is gonna a new one that's coming up, but it's gonna be. I don't want to say this to who I need to say this to, but it's going to be repent or take your sign down. It's going to be the, the church leadership. Because that's what the Lord told me to tell him. Tell him that. And he said, but leave God, my people alone. Leave my people alone. This stuff ain't going to fly, God. It's not going to stick anymore. The little playhouses are cr crumbling all around you. you so what you got a little pile of money you can do whatever you know I expect some of that garbage from a business but not the house of God if I go to work for a company I know what they're going to do they want to make money that's okay at least it, I can deal with that that's kind of my beef with the news I can deal with that just, t just tell us shoot straight with us not hiding in all these different angles and stuff and then trying to blame it on like you're the good guy you're not you're the bad guy actually honestly because you're because you're puking on people and vomiting and don't care how you twist it up just as long as your your man wins or woman wins And you don't care. The politicians, some law politicians are doing that same thing. They don't care who dies. They'll, they'll, they'll say it. Also, a few people lose their jobs. And you're not the one losing your job. You're not the one losing your house. You're not the one that... Some, the peop, some people are taking their lives because they're losing so much stuff. 
We've got to get this back, guys. Can't even go to church in most places. Can't sing. Come on. Get a grip. Love you guys. We've got to get this back. And the only way we're going to do it, not, not going to make America great again. Jesus is already great. We don't need to make America great again. We're going to put Jesus back in the center. Please, guys. Get a hold of him. I'll see you there tomorrow at 5 in the morning. Love you guys.